at strike one. Lays off the slider and it's one and one. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. He's going to have to set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little under that one. Toward second. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That lawn dart felt so good. Oh, Dero, this guy's been due. He really needed that one. Stepping up is Garrett Stubb. Batting six. The catcher. Garrett. Oh. Going, Here's the 0 oh. 2. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Reined in. Kick, 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 and kick, kick, he won't look at second. He'll just flip it on over to first to take the sure out. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up today. And guys, taking a look at this, this defense is going to have to be stout today. Starting pitcher with an ERA north of five usually spells some barrels being found by the opposition. So these guys better be on their toes in this one. Batting six. Not shortstop. CJ. Get to first. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Next to dig in, Chaz McCormick. Runner in scoring position with Sagan. Chaz McCormick. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. Throw to first. Beats him easily, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We play two full, and we are tied nothing nothing. So here's the cleanup hitter, Robert Holden. He singled in his first A.B. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. First pitch coming. Here it is. And it's fouled away. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0-2. Over to the bag. Don't want to forget about it. Brewer, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Hey, one time, right now. Here we go. Hey, come on, now one time, right here. And here's oh, a fastball on 0-2, but it misses. One and two now. stretch and he fouls this one off hey usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff but this guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball two back to back and another foul ball A 
again a 1-2. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Souza is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. So now it'll be the four hole here. Now that, Robert that Bolden flew hitter. out last time up. Bolden. First offering on its way. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Popped up. So two go. He's got it, and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. We're through six full. Dodgers lead this one three to one. Leading off the inning, it'll be Leading Robert off. Bolden. And they could use a spark from him here. Always a tall task trying to rally back in the late innings, but I think this game could still turn quickly. A leadoff runner on base right here could be huge to get something going. Hit in the air down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. And he just keeps on going and going. That's save number 35 for the game. At some point, just about every prospect goes through a tough phase. Your bat goes cold. You can't find your feel on the mound. Just nothing feels right. Sean Casey joins me today. Case, what is it like as a prospect in the minor leagues to go through struggles like that? It's tough. It's tough because when you get to the minors, you really probably haven't struggled. You know, you haven't faced this kind of, kind of, kind of competition, so you really haven't struggled huge. I know for me, when I first got into pro ball, I was a second-round pick of the Indians. I had just led the country in hitting at University of Richmond, 461. I was the best hitter in the country. I get to the minor leagues. One of my hitting coaches is like, hey, listen, let's change your stance a little bit. Let's, let's lower you down, get in your legs. And I'm like, oh, this guy must know what he's talking about. He's a professional coach. I struggle so bad for two weeks. I'm hitting 140. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to get released. Remember, Joel Skinner comes up to me, my manager, and he says, you know what, Case? He goes, you're a great hitter. That's why they took you in the second round. Tonight, I want you to start hitting your way. So that night, I got taller. I started hitting. I ended up winning the batting title that year. The point was failures, uh, the struggle, all that stuff, anxiety is built into baseball. You, as, a, as an individual player, have to learn how to talk to yourself mentally, know yourself as a hitter or as a pitcher, and believe in yourself. That's what's going to get you to the next level. A fast developing minor league pitcher is coached up on meeting the challenge of a postseason push. It's another chance for a prospect to make an impression on his team's brass and the scouts of other clubs as well. Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, a compelling matchup of division contenders between the Sugarland Skeeters and the Oklahoma City Dodgers. Sugarland attempt to end a six game losing streak. Next. Mitch White, the California born right hander, is on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you take a look at this guy's ERA. Any ERA under four is pretty good in this day and age of baseball. When we have all these high-scoring, high-flying affairs, this guy knows how to pitch. He knows how to control the running game. And most importantly, he's not afraid to throw strikes. We'll see how he does in this one.
New inning set to get underway. Lee's and gone. coming forward Shooter now is the shortstop, the shortstop. Robert Bolden. Robert Bolden. Hey, get your pitch. Stay through it. Let's go. Try it. Now here's the first offering. Winging strike, oh, and now it's 0 2. Hey, this guy's so aggressive, I don't think this pitch is anywhere near the zone. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Didn't look to me like that was much of a protect. So next to hit is Robert Bolden, struck out in his last trip Robert. to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Oof, looks like he's chasing butterflies with that swing. It's 0-1. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Right side, fielded cleanly. Ah, uh, beat it out. Come on, come on, come on. Offline throw, but a good job of getting back to the bag as the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Stepping in next, Robert Bolden grounded out in his last at bat. First pitch on the way. Well. One and Bases are empty here with two men out. Pulled toward right center field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. So a great inning there as they bat around to score six times to open up the lead. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Now with the plate is the Jacob Amaya. One for stop. two on his line Jacob. so far in the game. Amaya. Hey, turn two, turn two. Ready with the 0-1. A bullet to first base, and he'll take it to the bag for the out, and there's your unassisted double play. Ready now is Robert now Bolden. Back. He flew out in his last A.B. Robert Bolden. Come on, one time right here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope. And he lays off there 1-0. Oh, no hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. Puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. Now the 1-0. Lifted the other way to left center. Boy, and call Come off on, the dogs hard, already as this go is on. down for extra bases. The relay throw. Throw to third, but he's in there. As a run will score on the play as well. This is an easy decision for him to try for third because he has the play right in front of him. So he doesn't have to rely on any of his base coaches. Good decision to keep chugging, and he makes it all the way around safely. Next, here is Caleb Joseph. Three runs already home and a potential fourth standing at third base. Line to the right side. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. I'll tell you, they're posting video game numbers here. I mean, that's their 11th run of the game, and they're showing no signs of slowing down. Just an absolute onslaught from this offense. So here is Albert Ramirez. The left fielder, number 23. Albert Ramirez. Go right now, 
On the ground is short. This could be two. He's right there to second for one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Seventh inning coming up. The Skeeters are out on top, 11 to one. Into the box, Zach McKinstry. Last time up, he no was hit by Number a pitch. Eight. Second baseman, Zach. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. He's got it. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. This one pretty well in the bag. Eighth inning coming up. The Skeeters lead it 11-1. to one. Digging in will be Robert Bolden. Two RBIs already. Looking for more here. First delivery to him. Hey, nice and patient. Get your pitch. Here comes the 0 1. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hole 0 and 2. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounded his own. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Beat it out, beat it out, beat it out. Come on, time to spare, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left the board. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Skeeters are out on top, 11 to 1. Yeah, it's only been a week, but I guess it's Probably feels like a million years ago since they had their last win. But this six game losing streak is behind them now. So we'll see if they can string some W's together. 11 to 1 at the end of this one. Sugarland posted 11 runs on the scoreboard when it was all said and done. Luis Garcia earns win number seven on the season. Mitch White struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vasquez. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter. The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Sugarland Skeeters and the Oklahoma City Dodgers. As October draws nearer, the race for the postseason intensifies. A pivotal game for two division rivals. Next. So now to the plate, Robert Bolden, and he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a swing at a ball popped in the air back behind short. Amaya will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away, one gone. Stepping in once again is Zach McKinstry. No he went down eight. swinging to start second the home man. first. Now a pickoff play at second and a dive, but he's back. Grounded back up the middle. There's one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Dodgers lead it two to nothing. And up next, it'll be Cabert Ruiz. Two on, two the out pitcher. for him here in the third. Beatty at second, Ramirez at first, two out in the inning. Hit hard to short. Fielded cleanly. And the two out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left. Three innings complete. Dodgers out in front, two to nothing. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Robert Bolden, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Bolden. Hey, let's go, First offering. 
sent out to straightaway center field. Galen is there, two gone. So the next to bat will be Drew Avens, the singled right in his Number last at bat. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's oh. off now. Maybe he gets hot. On to first, and there are two down. So next to bat will be Robert Holden, a potential tying run for him at third base. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Ball one. With the runner on third, two outs, base open, and a good hit at the plate, you have to be smart and not give in. If you walk this guy, so what? It's a lot worse if you give him a ball that he can hurt you on. The 1 0. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Galen is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. The five, six, and seven slots due up in the bottom of inning number six. Dodgers lead this one two to one. So stepping in is Donovan Casey. He was yeah, retired via the ground that's ball that's last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. To second for one, on to first, and they get the double play. Boy, and that's a great play there at short. He's forced to go to the backhand and then pivot on that right leg to throw against the momentum of his body. These guys make it look easy. That's one you could definitely launch into right field if you're not under control. Now into the box. Robert now Bolden back. flew out last up. time up. Robert Bolden. First offering on its way. Oh, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. A ball and a strike. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Now the pitch. Belted high and deep into right center. Racing back the center fielder. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Solo shot to right center, and we are tied again. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing, and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And K Bear Ruiz will dig into the plate. Hard on the ground towards short. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. 
well. Nothing earth-shattering about this one. He just didn't. Now at the plate, here is the right Drew field, Evans. Number 14. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3 the final. The Oklahoma City Dodgers came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Scott Alexander gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Tommy Kingley wraps it up for the save, number 36 on the season. of the minor leagues continues as we make a stop in the 10 team at Triple A West. Tonight, a compelling matchup of division contenders between the Sugarland Skeeters and the Oklahoma City Dodgers. As October draws nearer, the race for the postseason intensifies. A pivotal game for two division rivals. Next, Josiah Gray gets the assignment for the rubber match in this series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy's had a real solid season up to this point. ERA under 3.5, which is saying something in these high-scoring games we see now in the game of baseball. This guy knows how to pitch, and if he's on, he knows how to minimize the damage. He'll be fun to watch in this one. First delivery to him. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. He's got it. Throw over to Pujols at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors. And leading off the inning, it'll be Robert Bolden. As they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now. But this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. No balls and a strike to count. Come on, guy. Get your hits up there. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, and he takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Down the first baseline, but this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. And there's your first out of the inning. Next to hit, Robert Bolden. Now that designated hitter. Robert Bolden. Set and the pitch. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Comes set and the 0 1. Fouled away. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Didn't look to me like that was much. Next will be the designated hitter, Robert Bolden, and their runners at the corners now. Good pitch there down below the zone, got him to go after it. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. 
grounded up the first baseline. To second for one. Back to first, so they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. Yeah, you know, that's a big wasted opportunity. Even though a run does score on the play, they're still down and trading two outs at this point, and the game is really costly. Not a good turn of events for them. A four to one finish in this evening's game. The Dodgers. Yeah, no, Gray. This is a guy we've talked about before, and he's getting a lot more attention lately, really rising up the prospect ranks. Mike Lowell is with me. Mike, you went from 20th round pick to top 100 prospect to a four-time MLB All-Star. What is it like when you start getting more attention as a prospect? Well, it's a good feeling because you know you're doing something right, and the organization and people in the industry are really taking notice. However, I think it comes with an added pressure. And how you deal with that pressure, I think, really determines your future, short-term and long-term. For me specifically, I, I felt like, okay, the attention is great, but I got to really focus on what I've been doing that got me to this point. So I almost wanted to tune it out, focus on my, my craft, focus on my preparation for each game, and try to maintain that consistency. So that good news that I got and those good numbers I was putting up could basically keep keep that wave rolling a little bit so I can get either to the next level or make it to the big leagues or sustain myself in the big leagues. Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series. It's baseball. It's the show. And it, Mackenzie Gore gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really dependable. Last three starts, ERA just under 3.00. And that's some pretty good pitching. Minimizes the amount of walks, keeps his hits down. And if he can... Three! Three! And now here is C.J. Abrams. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. For the Chihuahuas, the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. And the pitch. At the ball. Yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They've been mired in a team-wide slump of late, as with the loss last time out, they've now dropped eight of their last nine decisions. Yeah, hey, Matty no V, up. and you know no what, D-Roll, yeah. this is when you really get tested. They, they call it the dog days of August for a hey. reason. When you're struggling like this team is right now, the games get long, the schedule gets long, and you start looking forward towards the end of the season. Yeah, yep. but you got to find a way, Dan. You know as well as I do. you got to look in the mirror. You're playing for way more more especially the way this team is underachieved you got to keep grinding you got to find a way to put your foot on the gas and show up to the yard every day ready to go having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night it's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game so we'll see if he can initiate some contact here swinging a ball hit on the ground Now the three and two pitch. And he takes oh, ball four. four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. As if things aren't tough enough here playing in this hostile environment, he walks the leadoff hitter. And, oh, yeah, he's a threat to run every time he gets on base. Not the way he wanted to start this out. 
Next, it'll that be Chukapita Marcano. Second baseman. Chukapita Marcano. He's set. Here it comes. And that swung on and missed for strike one. one. Good speed at first and good speed with the guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. Nobody out here. Abrams Nobody. on at first. Nobody out. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled off. That's one. back toward the mound. One. This will be a tough turn, however. And he won't even He's think out. about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. So now here is Joe Greenberg is looking to put them ahead Greenberg. early with this at bat. Greenberg. First offering on its way. and one delivery and one and one is this one's in on the hands runner at second here with one man out and there's ball two now the two one home hey. I got to count two and two on his way to third strike called now the throw down and the tags there he's out at third base it's a double play and just like that the inning is over we played an inning still nothing nothing and stepping in Curtis Evans leading up for El Paso the first baseman Curtis Evans First pitch of the A.B. on its way. He'll take that first pitch strike all day long. If they're going to take 0-0, he's going to pound that zone and get ahead. Much more susceptible down 0-1 than 1-0. Now the pitch. Here's the strike with the breaking ball. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. And he makes the catch in the corner. That was a tough play, so let's take another look at it with Showtrack. Seemed to get a solid read off the bat, took a good angle at it, and he covered over 100 feet to make the grab. And I'm sure he'll be getting some high fives for that one. Batting fifth. Stepping in now, field. number 17. Number 17. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. That average at 291 to start the day. A dozen home runs, 56 runs batted in. The windup and the 0-1. 
Holden. He's the kind of pitcher that a lot of pitching coaches and managers really appreciate and that he rarely issues the free pass. He's a strike thrower. Yeah, Matty V. And I think every pitching coach and every manager loves to have a guy like this on his staff. He won't beat himself. He'll make you put the ball in play, and he's not afraid to get his defense allowed. He's a pitch-to-contact guy, and that's one of the keys why he's been able to be such a good pitcher at this level. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Striding in is number nine. He brings a batting rather ugly 230s right batting field. average into this number one. Nine. Here's the first pitch to him. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. Down 0-2 to a guy with this much weaponry. Five pitches he can go to. Not looking good. Swing and he rockets this one down the left field line. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Cut it, cut it. Cut it, hold it. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. That is seven. The designated hitter. Oh, no. At the plate now, Jorge Ona, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Two down. You got two down. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Bottom of the second here with no score. Now a curveball's in there, one and two now. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. One, one, one. He's making it look easy. Oh, look at the sliding stop. It's in time. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having a chance to score. So they can't make anything out of the two-out double. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. Bottom of the inning now, and now it'll be the catcher, Winston well, Sawyer. Paso, the catcher, Winston Sawyer. First delivery to him. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. Batting nut. The left fielder. Oh to the plate now, Ben Ruda. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. That batting average hovering in the high 230s. Five homers and 34 driven in. And here we go. 
Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. Into the windup and the pitch. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. The batter will be C.J. Abrams. Now he drew a base on balls his first time up. C.J. Now here it comes. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that, that's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. And that's a called strike at the letters. Though that looked high from here, it's 0 2 now. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk coming right after him here. Bottom of inning number three nothing nothing our score. He got him lively fastball that time and it puts an end to the inning. So nothing happening this time around on now to the top of inning number four and we are tied nothing nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And set got? to go Four is the Paso. second baseman, Tucapita Marcano. The old Tuka adage Pita. pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They've certainly kept both offenses in check. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. Around second now and headed for third. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. You take a look at this one as it flies into the gap. Both outfielders give it a chase, but they the can't catch up. Number to Next thing you know, it one hops the wall, no. and he's busting his hump around Three, second bro. on his way to third. Catch made in center. Here comes Four. the runner from third. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead one nothing. Great job of offensive execution there. Lead off triple, the first and then the sack fly four. to bring home a run. Heard it. Ever. First offering. Curtis Evans comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's one and oh. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. One out now. The one oh. Nope, that's off the plate for the ball, too. Got himself a 2 0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2 and 1. To 2 and 2 now. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Seared down the first baseline. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. And he will just make it to the bag here in time, and that's out number two. Well, if you're going to bobble a ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. 
He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. Number 17 stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. And it's fouled away. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Frozen for strike three, and that retires the side. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Chihuahuas lead it one to nothing. So now into the box is number nine as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Number nine. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. To third. Reined in. And there's one down now. Now to the plate, Jorge Ona comes into now this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Too low with the curveball. One ball, no strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2 0, but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom of the order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. And here's a fastball for a strike, 2 and 1 now. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. The 2 1. Misses there, so he runs the count full now. Count still full, three and two. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. Next up, Winston Sawyer struck out in his first half. Yeah, yeah, he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. He got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Scooped up. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. That's how you roll it. Five to four to three. A double play sends us to break. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And standing in the Leaking outfielder, up. Ben Ruda. The left fielder. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Come on, fellas. Let's go. 0 oh and 1. Here it comes. Slider, and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. 
I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, pitching domination continues. Just a total of two runs on the board, so both of these starters should feel really good about their showings. If you love good pitching, this has been the game for you. Into the box now, C.J. Abrams. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Here's the drilled to the left side. And a base hit left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Hey guys, he's lucky he's getting this baseball back. He hung that middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up, and he was able to put good wood on it. Outstanding in now. Chupapito Marcano. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's working on a one for two game so far. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation. Here it comes 0 and 2. And now a soft liner to the left side. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. He's going to find out quick that guys are even more selective up here in Triple A. And a good take there. Close, but it's 2 and 2. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Here now the 2 2. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. There's one. But wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off balance throw to the second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. Yeah, it gets down, on, and the inning on. continues. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with Knox will help you sleep better at night, Dan. Into the box, Curtis Evans. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Bounce to the left side. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Yeah, I'm not sure. This ball might have caught him in between hops. He looked unsure which way to turn his glove, and the next thing you know, it's by him. Skipper out of the dugout, making the slow trek to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, he'll depart right. after five and two. Tonight's game comes to an end, five to one, the final score. El Paso used a three-run seventh to help propel them to the win. Mackenzie Gore records the victory, his 13th of the year. They left 11 more doctors. Now on your home for minor league baseball, MLB The Show has coverage from the AAA West. Tonight, game two of this three-game series. We've got baseball on the... Striding forward now is the DH, Robert Holden, as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August.
first offering on its way. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0 and 2. Hey, this guy's so aggressive, I don't think this pitch is anywhere near the zone. The 0 2 pitch. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. So a runner at first with two away. And that means Caleb Joseph will stride into the batter's box next. Holden is off of first with two away. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One hit, one left. Next to hit is Robert Holden. Now that the designated hitter. Robert. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. One out, nobody on. That swung on and missed. We're even at one and one. Now here's the pitch. Good spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at two and two. Runs up and gets this one down. Throw to first will get him as they pounce on it quickly to snuff out the bunt attempt. Well, you know, he had a good idea right there. The infield was playing back, but it's not going to work out for him this time. That's a nice play to react. Next to stand in is Robert Holden. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Now here's the first offering. From an offensive standpoint, this is where you got to push the throttle right here. You've had a couple hits in the inning. You've got a 1 0 count leverage. Let's see if he can gap something. Pulled toward right center field. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go, go, go. For the center fielder, he's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. El Paso's out on top, six to one. Everyone had a hand in this win, and that's usually the case when you win a game by eight final runs. Final feels Third good to dominate a game like that. Nine runs, 14 hits. The team's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight we wrap up this three. It's baseball on the show. And stepping in, C.J. Abrams. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Not shortstop. C.J. Hit on the ground is short. And that's out number one. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the visitors. And guys, one thing I want you to focus on today when you look at this team on the defensive side of the ball, they're in the top five in fielding. That is it. So the now to the side. plate, Robert Holden. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Azarkar is camped under this one. And that will retire the side. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. On now to the bottom of the second. The Chihuahuas lead it one to nothing. Back to the top of the order now. And batting now next, the speedy Good middle stop. infielder, C.J. Abrams. One down here, Spin the throw back to second. A dive, but he's back. One out and a runner on second base. Hey, looking back, go one. One. A bouncer up the middle. He's got it. Throw in time at first for route number two. 
not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder. And now yeah, Robert man. Bolden, he the flew shortstop. out in his last Robert. AB. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Come on. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And he goes down and gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. And it's gone. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Home run number nine on the year. And this ball game is tied at one. And with one swing at a bat, no hitter gone, shutout gone, and now we got to tie Wago. Anything can happen. The batter will be C.J. Abrams. Leading up for El Paso, the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. Grounded to short. Fielded cleanly. And that's the first out. And now in the box, Robert Holden. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. Robert. This guy's a good fastball, oh, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe he'll pop up in the infield. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one, the final score. to well if you've listened to the podcast before you know that i'm all in on this guy this two-way player some people doubt him i don't i really think this can work and he's starting to show it at triple a really knocking on the door of the major leagues and who better to talk about the major leagues than john paul morosi of mlb network who joins the pod today jp thank you so much for being here what are you thinking about the future of this two-way prospect? Well, Ben, first, I have to say that if he goes on to become an all-star, I'm going to say I heard about him first on your podcast, my friend. <laughs> I've been listening to it faithfully. Whatever I know about this player initially came from you. So thank you for turning me on to this incredible idea. And now I've been following a little more closely. I follow the box scores. I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my sources and my scouts. And they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. They're seeing enough development from him at the minor league level that they believe he could make an impact as a hitter and a pitcher in the major league. So, Ben, this is this is your guy. He's going to do it. He is going to be a major league player at both areas, I think. And now the question will be, how far can he take it? Is this going to be an all-star player? Can he change the game? All of these things are possible, and that's why – I love the minor leagues so much because we get stories like this that inspire the imagination, that drive interest around the profession and around baseball fans throughout the world. So, Ben, you were first on this story. Congratulations on that. And now your guy has a chance to be a star in the major leagues.